Hi, good morning, sir. Yeah, good morning. My name is Gurney. My name is Sachin Dukka Sai Padawala. Okay, uh, can I go with Sai? Yes, sir. Okay, Sai, can I have a resume? Yes, sir. Uh, yeah, Sai, quickly introduce yourself before going to the interview. Uh, my name is Sachin Dukka Sai Padawala, sir. I am come from the Andhra Pradesh, East Kodur uh, District, and Senate Pali Mandal. And I completed March. Master of Computer Applications in the Srinivas Institute of Management Studies, separate from the Andhra University from Vizer. And I born from the nuclear family. I have a, a younger sister and is uh, studying a BSc Computer Science finally. And I have good knowledge on the C sharp.net and ASP.net and AV.net. I have done the major project on the technology. That's it. Yeah, okay. So you are comfortable with programming language? I will comfortable with C sharp. Yeah, okay. So can I go with the basic questions in C sharp? Yes. Sir. Yeah. Uh, first of all, what is uh, the C sharp? C sharp is uh, one of the most useful programming language. It is also popular of the in the world. And C sharp uh, mainly are used in the console applications and desk uh, desktop applications and the Windows applications. It is the part of the .NET. Okay. So you said that .NET. So what is C sharp .NET? C sharp .NET is a combination of the in a dot, .NET platform with the C sharp language. We can use multiple uh, programming languages. Uh, there is a one of the C sharp language also in the .NET. We have improved the uh, programming language uh, code code uh, platform reuse, uh, reusability. Thus, we go the C sharp .NET. So you can go with like uh, .NET is nothing but one of the software product like which is introduced by Microsoft. Microsoft. Uh, including with C sharp, we can develop different types of applications. Yes. Yeah, uh, fine. What are the data types available in C sharp? Uh, there are two types of data types in C sharp, sir. One, one, uh, first one is the value data type and second one is the reference data type. Okay. So, uh, can you uh, name some inbuilt data type names? Inbuilt data type names means well, like in, in, uh, in, in value data types like into, float, to, chart, double and in uh, reference data type object and strings. Yeah, okay. So, what is meant by object? Object is we have the taken a real entity. It is uh, do a uh, behavior and uh, behavior and implementation and action. There are yeah, three. It three refers the class. class. It class. refers the class. Okay. Fine. And what is meaning of typecasting? Typecasting is a uh, one of the important topic in the future. This is means is converting one type uh, one type of data to another type of data. Okay. There are two major processes: uh, implicit and explicit. So, uh, which one converting higher to lower and which one converting lower to higher? Uh, higher to lower means uh, lower to higher is converting uh, implicit uh, implicitly and the lower to higher to explicit. Higher to lower is explicit. Okay. So, can be done automatically explicit type casting? Automatic, uh, but uh, we are not calling it explicitly. This is done in the type conversion. Yes, we need to go with the adding uh, cache. Yes. Okay, so uh, what are the convert methods we have? There are convert methods like we used uh, integer, we converted into like. Uh, okay, so you can go with just convert dot 2 into 32 into or 2 into 64 or 2 into uh, like convert two double. The different type of data types and uh, converting of which one are converting to care or to string or to int. Yeah, okay, so fine. And what are the operators available in C? Uh, there are uh, Six or seven operators in available. Uh, there are using arithmetical operators for uh, mathematical and uh, res uh, assignment operators to assign the values to the variable. And um, uh, arithmetical. There are next. There have the relational operators, operators, logical operators. Logical operators to compare to to variables. Okay, fine. And what is the difference between logical or and logical and? Logical and means there are taken two variables. Logical are taken one R. Uh, one variable or two variables? Uh, yes, you need to go with the, it can check the two conditions. two conditions. If the two conditions are true, it will return true. If any one condition is true, in logical R, it will return true. Mm -hmm. Okay, fine. And, okay, so what is abstract class? Uh, abstract class means just we implement a partial implementing the abstract class. We use the abstract keyword and the overwrite keyword. Yeah, okay, so you said that overwrite. What is the difference between overloading and overriding? Overloading. There are two concepts from the polymorphism. 
and the water uh, water loading was the same methods sir but different parameters okay overriding means overriding means uh, they are also sequel to the water loading okay. but parent and child have child have dif uh, different same method means same method. parent and child having same, same method means child overrides the parent properties and getting that over properties is known as overriding okay mm, fine so have you aware about that like this keyword uh, this keyword using for the uh, variable to assign the correct variable no, no. it is using to refer the where uh, current class instance variable where. okay okay uh, we are discussing variables also right like uh, how many variables are there there are different type of variables like uh, local variables global variables instance variables okay variables. so mm, what is the level of instance variable instance variable access level access level only just uh, class 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 and uh, in this uh, given the methods okay what is the access level of local variable local variable means uh, inside of the class and outside of the method uh, inside of the method and uh, inside the class those are local variables yeah. it can access only particular section of method okay mm, fine so is c sharp support multiple inheritance no sir okay Yeah, how we can uh, achieve this multiple inheritance? We can achieve the using of the interface keyword. Interface concept we can achieve. Okay. So what is the concept of inheritance? Inheritance means we can uh, uh, derive the one class means we can extend from the per base class to child class like uh, derive the one class to another class. Yes, you can go with uh, inter inheritance is a concept here one class. Acquires the another class properties is known as inheritance. Okay, name some types of inheritances like single inheritance, multi inheritance, multi level inheritance, next inheritance inheritance, hybrid hybrid. Okay, and fine. And what is the uh, encapsulation? Uh, encapsulation is the combination means it is the uh, combination of the methods and the variables in the single unit of entity. and it is also can also class yeah uh fine and what is the advantage of this encapsulation main purpose of the encapsulation we have uh, more secure okay for security purpose we are going with the encapsulation concept okay so can i go with like uh, okay what is call by value call by value means uh, we just uh, uh, write in any method we mention some variables in the method we can use it this keyword yes when we are calling a method by passing some value, value. this concept is known as call by call by value okay so uh, what is the difference between while loop and for loop while loop and for loop for loop is used to iteration the end of the value means okay. given the condition that will be end of the for means when condition is uh, Is when condition is false, the loop will be end. But the while loop will at least give when the condition is uh, at least give the one type of return type. No, no, no. Like coming to that, for this a basic. Here in single line we can declare initialization, condition, and increment or decrement. While loop is a looping statement. First we need to initialize. Just we need to put up the condition inside that we need to follow the increment or decrement. And while loop, when we don't number of iteration, we don't know number of iteration, we can use while. Okay, that is the major difference. Okay, uh, fine. And uh, so, what is string? String is a co combination of the SQL character. Okay. So, uh, if I can take um, string s equals to Surya, how you can get the size? Like how you can count the characters inside that string? we can use the char ch equal to no 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 i am asking string s equals to surya okay so now you can uh, how many characters are there there are surya five. five five if i can ask uh, console dot write line yes uh, like a five it will get five but next time i am going with the when how you can count the characters inside the string So you can go with the direct method, length method. Length. Okay. We have a length method. We can go with the length. Okay. And what is array? Array is a collection of the integer and integer like integer array and integer array. 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 Integer array.
फाइव एंड हाउ मेनी टाइप्स ऑफ आर एस आर के सिंगल 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 आर है एंड मल्टी डायमेंशनल आर है एंड जैग आर है ओके सो व्हाट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन जैग आर एंड सिंगल आर जैग आर मींस सिंगल आर ओनली कंटेन द वन 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 रो ओनली बट जैग आर इज कंटेन द रोस एंड कॉलम्स इन मल्टी but in multiple di- multi dimensional array also we have a multiple rows and multiple columns but what is the difference when you give a some particular uh, size of the only uh, particular size in the dimensional array but in jagged array we create a different type of uh, yes, data yes, types you can see like column. coming to that multiple dimensional array each and every row contain a particular column number but jagged array first row contain two two, two columns, columns. and second row and three, three columns. columns like that. okay uh, fine and how can you create object object we are create an object first we take an a uh, class name and uh, given to the object name and we create a new class okay then uh, like uh, how we can means class name object name equals to can go with the new keyword and the cla- constructor class. of the class. class okay and yeah uh, fine like uh, you are done with that uh, like advanced concept like collections or like that concept okay yeah fine okay so this will be a round and yeah okay so i done with my side you have any queries to ask okay you can